i hope this much content will definitely help you passing the examination not only passing you can easily score uh, more than 80 or 90 marks by covering this much portion so all the very best for your examinations thank you hello everyone and welcome back to my channel dear friends hope you are all doing well so examinations are very near now so today i am with the passing package video for the subject engineering surveying right so already i have uh, uploaded the passing package video for the strength of material som subject okay if you have not watched it yet you can go through the description box i have provided the link over there okay so let me discuss uh, the passing modules first in this particular subject as there are uh, there is a lot of syllabus you cannot uh, cover all the portions were there okay some in some modules you can neglect one chapter so let me discuss the important questions and passing modules uh, so that you can easily grab the subject you can easily tackle this particular subject so first beginning module that is module first it is the passing module as it consists the lot of theory no problematic uh, no problems at all okay if you are good in the problematic part then definitely theory will be the burden for you people so most of the students uh, which are having problems which are facing issues in the problematic part were there so they can refer the theoretical concepts only uh, so that they can pass the subject okay so first of all let me discuss the important questions like uh, what is engineering surveying write down the importance of surveying for civil engineers list the types of surveying and explain any four of them suppose uh, six uh, surveying are uh, six types of surveying are over there so they may ask you explain any four of them like control survey construction survey survey and uh, cadastral survey and hydrographic survey and underground survey these are the six types of surveying over there so they may ask you any two sometimes any four like that you have to go through and you should have some knowledge about these types of surveys over there then uh, next question is the explain the working operation of uh, plan table surveying what are the advantages and disadvantages of plan table surveying okay the next possibility is to explain the various methods of distance uh, measurement uh, which includes the different types of tapes laser distance meters and distance measuring wheels edm and gps technology okay next is compare and contrast the advantages and limitations of different distance measurement techniques okay so last but not least two questions are over there so like uh, discuss the challenges and techniques involved in the conducting underground surveys for infrastructure planning and development next uh, they discuss the historical development of surveying methods like uh, chain surveying compass surveying and plan table surveying you have to write down the historical development so next passing module which also consists of theoretical concepts uh, this is again a passing module that is module third describe this is the super important question describe the various characteristics of contours with sketches wherever necessary list the types of contours were there so next is explain interpolation of contours list the methods of countering met, uh, contouring explain explain contour interval and grade contour so next is the describe the process of plotting contours in cad software highlight the advantages and using cad software for contouring plotting okay contour plotting next super important question explain the measurements of coordinates using total station and define longitudinal and cross sectioning in civil engineering discuss the importance of longitudinal and cross sections in infrastructure design and analysis or simply in surveying they may ask you the question uh, that uh, discuss the importance of longitudinal and cross sections in surveying over there next is explain in detail how do you create job files importance of backside data coordinate data recording in total stations okay so this is all about model third so let me come to the model fifth over here okay and also one question is from the model third that is discuss the process of plotting longitudinal and cross sections in cad software how does cad uh, facilitate the analysis and visualization of longitudinal and cross section data okay so this is all about model third now let me come to the another passing module that is model fifth where you have to cover some super important questions like define remote sensing list out the application of gis and remote sensing explain about gps absolute and differential positioning with gps explain briefly the various types of gps receivers explain various types of uh, drones and sensors used in the surveying and mention the various applications and advantages of drones in civil engineering works right next is uh, what is gagan system in india and how does it enhance gps navigation explain the features of photogrammetric uh, mapping and how it utilizes it in drone surveying and outline the process of drone surveying flight uh, planning including considerations for uh, dgps make markers and image capture over there okay this is all about the model fifth so if you cover this much portion you can easily pass this particular subject now if somebody wants to score in this particular subject so they have to go through all the modules 
So now let me discuss the module 4 in which you have to cover the important questions like list out the various types of vertical curves and explain write down and explain these types of vertical curves write down the applications for it and explain the setting out of horizontal curve by theodolite that is the Rankine's method most important one with the help of neat sketch of a simple circular curve explain point of curve deflection angle tangent length and length of the long chord apex distance and mid ordinate okay and sometimes they will ask what are, what are the elements of simple circular curve so again uh, the next super important question that is distinguish between transition and vertical curve explain the requirements of a transition curve discuss the different methods of determining the area and sta state simpson's rule derive an expression for it so there are also the problematic part also so i will tell you which uh, papers you should refer so first of all let us discuss the another model that is model second so in the model second you have to cover define the following terms this question is most important one that is benchmark turning point foresight reduced level vertical axis collimation error height of collimation or sometimes they will give line of collimation swinging datum surface and change point next question is explain differential leveling with neat sketches most important one this should be at the top priority you should cover this question list out the accessories and advantages of total station explain the temporary and permanent adjustments of the theodolite there are an expression for the horizontal distance vertical distance and the elevation of an elevated object by double plan method when the base is inaccessible so this is all the content which you should cover to grab the subject to concur the subject with the flying colors so for the problematic part you should refer uh, the question papers 18 cv 45 and 18 cv 35 that is the basic surveying and advanced surveying so that you will get some problematic part if somebody wants to score this is for those students who want to score in the subject so they they should prefer these papers at all and try to cover those problems which are mentioned in uh, previous two three papers okay i hope this much content will definitely help you passing the examination not only passing you can easily score uh, more than 80 or 90 marks by covering this much portion so all the very best for your examinations thank you